Hello everybody, my name is Katie Hunt and I am the K-12 Education Engagement Specialist at the Indiana State Museum and Historic Sites. And today I have a design challenge for you. We are going to design lunar landers. And I am pretty excited about this activity because just last year was the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. design challenge today we are going to build a prototype or a first draft of a lunar lander using everyday objects you might be able to find around your house and so to do that we are going to follow the engineering design process and so we're going to go through that step by step here and our first step is to ask the question what are we trying to solve what are we trying to do and that is to build how do we build a lunar lander and so the next step after that is to brainstorm and in this step here, this is a good time to go ahead and start to gather your supplies you might wanna use. Now, let me show you some of the supplies I have here. These are just things that you can find around your house. So get a little bit creative with that. You might be able to find things like cardboard food containers or cardboard tubes like this. You might be able to find things like string or yarn. Um, plastic water bottles work great. We have things like small and big plastic or paper cups. Um, let's see, other kinds of food containers. We've got pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks, straws, even chip clips and things like that. And so all of these things are things that you can use when you're building. And we also are gonna need some tools while we build as well. So we're definitely going to need some scissors and grownups, make sure you're involved with this step here. We wanna make sure that everybody is safe while they're building. You're also going to need some pencils and paper to be able to sketch out your design. That is a key part of the design process, and we'll talk about that in a minute. You're also going to want some tape. Now, I have a couple different kinds of tape here. Just think about what you have around your house. Um, either you can use scotch tape or duct tape, which is really sticky, or you can use my favorite kind of tape to build with, and that is something like painter's tape. It's not as sticky as other kinds of tape, and so that helps in our design process because sometimes we need to redesign our creations as we move along. Okay, so once you've gathered your supplies, I want you to think about how you're gonna build your lander. How big is it gonna be? What are you gonna use? Those are things that you need to think about in the brainstorming step. Now, after that, you're gonna wanna sketch out your design. Now, I've sketched out my design up here on my board, but I've also sketched it out on a little piece of paper just like this maybe take two or three minutes to do your sketch. And a key part of the engineering design process is to have a labeled sketch. So as you go through, make sure you label the different parts of your lander that you have. Like I have my cabin here. And also put down the supply that you might use. I'm gonna use a paper cup for that part. And you're also gonna wanna think about the body of your lander. You're gonna wanna think about the shock absorbers because what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up and be able to drop this and see if we can keep our astronauts inside. And speaking of astronauts, you might want to use a lightweight object like I have cotton balls right here. Um, you could use marshmallows or ping pong balls. And this is important to think about because there's an added challenge for our lunar landers today. And that is the cabin of your lander can't have a lid on top of it to keep your astronauts inside. So you need to really focus on your shock absorbers on the bottom to be able to make sure that your astronauts don't go flying out as they land on the surface of your planet or on the moon. All right, so now after you've taken some time to sketch out your design, you're kind of gonna use this as your blueprint as you build, uh, it's time to create. So make sure you grab all of the supplies you might need. For me, I've got a little example of one I just made before. Um, I used a paper cup for my cabin. Um, I've got a little piece of cardboard here for the, for the body. I've used some straws that I've taped together as the shock absorbers on the bottom. And I'll grab two of my cotton balls right here to put in the top. So after you've taken some time to build, now it's time to test. So make sure you hold it up high. You might want to even stand on a chair for this. Make sure you get your grown-ups to help you with that part too. And when you're ready, you drop it. 
and see if your astronauts stay inside. Now, if they don't, you might want to think about what you could do to improve your design. And so this is a really easy way to be able to make a lunar lander at home. So thank you all so much for joining me today and have a wonderful day. Thank you.